Hello, Primary Sevens. Um, I'm Mrs. Campbell. I'm the Deputy Head Teacher here at Hillhead High School. And I've made this video for you to talk to you about part of your transition. Now, normally you would come to Hillhead High School and you would visit the school, you would meet your teachers and um, you would meet myself and all the other deputies. But unfortunately, we're in this situation just now when you're not able to do that and you weren't able to come in December. So we've got to look at ways to make your transition as the best we possibly can. And we're going to start off by, first of all, giving you a language and friendship letter. Now, your teacher's going to send that out to you. You may have received it already. And this is for us to fit here at Hillhead High School to find out information about what language you want to learn when you come to the high school. But not only that, we also need to know what friends you would like in, um, in your class when you come here in August. So the language letter's got three choices. It's got, you can study either Mandarin, Chinese, you can study French, or you can study Urdu. Normally what you'll find is the Urdu is for people who've got Urdu in their background. But if you wanted to study Urdu, you can tick that box as well. So we need this information to determine what class you're going to be in in August because different languages are in different classes. So you've got to um, put a tick or a star next to the language of your choice. Now, what I would say to you is some people say, well, I don't know if I want to do French or I don't know if I want to do Chinese, so I'll tick two boxes. Can I please ask you not to do that? And the reason why is because then I would need to make the decision for you. I would need to say, well, is French and Mandarin has been ticked. I just need to pick French for this particular pupil. So only put one tick in the box, okay? And the second part of the letter is um, your friends. Who would you like to be in a class with? Now, what we would like you to do is to pick maximum three friends that you would like to be in a class with. Now, I can't guarantee that you would be in a class with your three, three friends, but I can guarantee that you'll be in a class with at least one of your friends, okay? So if I was you, if you had three friends, but one of them was your best friend, I would write that person's name down and I would write beside it BF for best friend and that lets me know that's your top choice. Now, when you're writing your friends' names, what I would like you to do is to let, write their full names and to write what class they're in. Now, I know some of the primaries, there's only one P7 class, so it would just be P7. But I know some primaries have 7A, 7B, 7C. So if you're a pupil in 7A and you're wanting all the pupils are in 7A as well, then you would write 7A beside their names. Their full names like Jack McConnell, 7A. If um, you've got friends in another class, then you would write um, Jane Smith, 7B. Okay? Now, <clears throat> you don't need to put three friends. If you only have one best friend in your school, that's fine. Just put the one name. Now, the reason why we only ask you to put three because you're going to be in a practical section of 20 when you come to Hillhead High School and a registration class of 30. Now, we've got to have a gender balance in that class, but most importantly, we have to have that class a mixture of all the different primaries that are coming. And I know last year we had 20 primary schools here um, who came um, from all around Glasgow. So it's important that we have a mixture because once you come here, you belong to Hillhead High School. You're no longer in the primary school. We want you to make new friends. So we couldn't have a class with like 15 pupils from Hillhead Primary or 10 pupils from Anderson or 10 pupils from Oak Grove. So we try to make sure that there's a mixture. So that's how we would say only to put three friends. Now, in exceptional circumstances, if there was a group of five, then your primary school teacher, your P7 teacher will let me know that and will do the best I can. But the only thing that I can promise you is that you'll be in a class with at least one friend. Now, you might be sitting saying, oh, I'm not going to Hillhead High School. I put a place and request into another high school, maybe Hindland, or I'm going to maybe private school. Now, if that's the case, um, that's fine. However, I would really like you to complete the, the, the form anyway. And the reason why I'm asking you to do this is sometimes pupils change their mind. Um, sometimes pupils don't get into the place and request school that they're put in for. 
And it's really, really important that if that happens, I still have your sheet. I still have your sheet that's saying to me that this pupil wants to study French and this pupil's friends are X, Y and Z. That allows me to make sure that if that happens and you don't go to another school and come to us, I have all the information for you and I don't have to just put you in a class and you'd end up with no friends at all. So the other thing I want to ask you to do when you're completing this form to clearly mark on it your name um, and the primary school that you're currently at. It's very important. So, and then once you've completed it, you can send it back to your P7 teacher and they'll send it to us. Now, this is just part of the transition. Um, what I'll be doing over the next couple of weeks as well, I'll be um, going on a Teams meeting with you know, your P7 teacher and your either deputy or head teacher, and I'll be finding all about you as an individual. We go and we ask the primary school teachers you know, what your likes, what your dislikes, um, what subjects is your strengths, your, what areas um, you're needing to develop, and I will gain all this information from your P7 teacher and your deputy and your head teacher so that when you come to Hillhead High School, um, we know all about you. Now, when I'm recording this, I know that Nicola Sturgeon's doing a, uh, an announcement this afternoon. I don't know what she's going to tell us. But if the schools do go back, then hopefully, no, as in we will see you as soon as possible. You are my priority. Uh, here at Hillhead High School, I'm responsible for all S1 pupils and all S2 pupils. But I'm also responsible for all the pupils in the primary schools who are coming here in August. So as soon as um, we get back to some sort of normality, I will arrange for you to get to see Hillhead High School before you come in August. Um, all the staff are looking forward to you coming here in August. Um, they've got lots of fantastic lessons prepared for you. You'll be studying um, lots of wonderful topics in the different faculties around the school. Um, and what I'm also going to try and do is maybe arrange for some of our um, first or second year, current first and second years to make you wee videos to send them to you so that you can they can tell you what it's like from a pupil's perspective. So please, primary sevens, um, know that when you come to Hillhead High School, we will look after you and you're going to have a great time. All the teachers in this school, when you ask them what's the best thing about Hillhead High School, they all say it's the pupils. And when you ask the pupils what's the best thing about Hillhead High School, they always say it's the teachers. So that's the kind of relationship we have here at the school and you're going to love coming here. So get your letter um, completed and I would ask you to get it to your um, P7 teacher as quickly as possible. It was nice speaking to you. See you all soon.